Are you sick of having to live next door to someone? Maybe you want some privacy once in a while. Or maybe you want to emulate a luxury life from your dreams. Well, all of this can be done on a private island. Amazingly, there's many islands around the world which do not cost millions of dollars. In fact, no one wants to buy these islands for any price. Some have incredibly tarnished reputations, which puts off buyers. And others may just be too scary for you to live on, but we'll have to see. Picabuku Island, Brazil I would say that you could own this island, but that would be incorrect. What I should say is you can own these islands. That's because the Peekaboo Islands consist of six islands. They have amazing views and wildlife. You can find them off the coast of the San Francisco River. This is located in northeastern Brazil. The asking price for all six of these islands is only $79,500. But no one will buy them for that price, or any price it seems. That's because there's some big technicalities when you buy these. For example, you're not technically owning the island, but buying the right to use them for 99 years. Of course, that's more than most people's lifetimes. But it means that, unless you pass away early, you can't give them to your kids. Also, you do not make any money from the islands increasing in value. There's also a mention of a vague, small yearly tax for owning this island. But I did some math, and it's still a pretty amazing deal. $79,500 over 99 years works out to $803 per year. This means, for that small price, you could live on these islands. But something else that may put off potential buyers is the fact that they're far away from anything. You'll have to get a boat, or if you can afford it, a helicopter to take you around. You can't actually land a plane on these islands because they're too small. So, better use all that money you saved on a chopper. Little St. James Island, USA the name of this island may be familiar to you. It was once used by the world's elite. Celebrities such as Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, and Stephen Hawking have been to the island. But today, it's up for sale. But it's unlikely anyone will be buying it anytime soon. That's because it was previously owned by Jeffrey Epstein. This creepy billionaire allegedly passed on in a New York prison. And it's said on his island, him and his rich friends did some terrible things. The island is 78 acres. It was purchased in 1998 for $10.5 million. But today, it's valued at $65 million. But because of its tarnished reputation, no one wants to go here. But the question is, if the price was right, would you buy this place even knowing what happened here? Poveglia, Italy Poveglia is located off the coast of Italy in the Mediterranean. It's very close to the city of Venice. You could literally hop into a gondola and get to this island from Venice. It spans over 72,000 meters. But if you buy this island, you'll find some creepy things on it. This includes an abandoned hospital. There's also an abandoned insane asylum and a 12th century bell tower. This belonged to a church which was on the island that got demolished in 1806. Now, this may seem very nice, so what's the catch? Well, it's that Pervegelia is the most haunted place on Earth. In fact, it's been haunted throughout history. During the Middle Ages, it was used to house victims of the plague. They wanted to keep these people away from the general population so as to not spread the plague. Who knows, maybe they'll start using this for the current virus. Later on, this island was also used as a mental institution. There were also some very creepy and probably not legal medical procedures done on the island. One doctor felt so bad he even took his life by jumping off the bell tower. In 1968, the hospital and asylum closed down and the island was abandoned. Since then, it's had three owners. The first two gave it up because the place was way too mysterious and scary. They said they witnessed many ghosts and hauntings on the island. The third owner bought it for only half a million dollars in 2014. He wanted to make it into a holiday destination, but the local authorities said no. So, do you still fancy living on this island? Fort Carroll, USA Fort Carroll is an abandoned fort. You can find it on the Patapsco River in Maryland, USA. It was built all the way back during the American Civil War to protect the approach to Baltimore. But in 1921, it was abandoned. This was until 1958 when someone bought it. This was to build a casino on it. But unfortunately, courts ruled that gambling was banned on the island. Since then, many have thought about buying the island, but never have. It's up for sale right now for $31,500. But there's a big catch if you do buy this island for that price. You need to restore the abandoned fort on the island. 
Some have made offers, hoping to turn the island into a hotel, a conference center, and even a jail. But all of these attempts have been unsuccessful, it's just too hard to build on the island. But even if you do buy this island and restore the abandoned fort on it, you'll still have problems with that. That's because the island is an important conservation site for seagulls and herons. So you can't simply start construction work as it will scare off these birds. Little Rocky Island, Canada this island is incredibly picturesque. It's eight acres and has white sandy beaches. It also has amazing nature. Instead of the classic island tropical palm trees, there are pine forests. It's also sheltered from any storms or hurricanes by the neighboring islands. There's no buildings on this island, so you'd have to build your own. And right now it's only listed for $74,500. So why is it still for sale? Well, there's various catches to this island. First off, as I mentioned, you'll need to build a house on it if you want to live there. It's also only a real island at high tide. When the tide goes out, a strip of land connects it to the mainland. This means that it's technically a part-time island. But in many ways, this is handy because you could easily get to land. Another key reason why this is so cheap and still no one's bought it is because of the Canadian market. There are so many private islands on the Canadian market that there's way more islands than buyers. But this island sounds a lot nicer than many on this list. Ilha de Quimada Grande, Brazil the name of this island doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. That's why many locals refer to it as Snake Island. That's because it's home to the most venomous snakes in the world. The entire island is infested with the Golden Lance Head. This is a pit viper that can grow 18 inches long. It's also so poisonous that just one bite can take a person's life in just one hour. If you lived on this island, you would run into these all the time. That's because there's over 4,000 on the island. That's around one snake per every square foot. Right now, it's actually illegal to go there. It's administered by the state of Sao Paulo, Brazil. You can, in theory, buy this island, but no one ever will. Even if you wanted to buy it and take away all the snakes, you could not do that. That's because they're endangered, so you can't simply get the pest team in. That's because they're endangered, so you can't simply bring in pest control. Isola Lageola, Italy. This is another beautiful island in the Mediterranean. It's in the Bay of Naples. It has ruins on it which date back to ancient Rome. It also has an old rustic Italian villa. It's close to the shore so you can swim there, but you also get amazing clear views of the sea and sky. So why does no one want to buy this place? Well, it's because this island is said to be cursed. That may seem far-fetched and you may not be superstitious, but when you hear about what happened to the previous owners, your mind will be blown. In the 1920s, its owner's body was found wrapped up in a carpet. Shortly afterwards, his wife passed on in a drowning accident. The next owner had a heart attack soon after buying the island. The next owner went crazy and then took his own life. And unbelievably, so did the owner after him. And that owner was a future billionaire, heir to the Fiat car company. The island then went to his nephew. But shortly after that, the nephew passed away from a very rare disease. Another owner also went bankrupt after he bought the island. Another owner's son was kidnapped. And the most recent owner went to prison for bad business practices. Now, maybe this is not all the island's fault, but it's way too many coincidences for me and I think there's something wrong with this island. Sheep Lake Islands, Canada. This island is surrounded by trees and it's very peaceful, but unfortunately you won't get much privacy, which is why many people buy islands. It's only 25 miles away from the closest fishing village. This means there may be lots of visitors and the island won't be very private. The asking price is a little over $50,000, but so far there's been zero takers. Chandler Island, USA Chandler Island is a one acre island with an amazing view of Maine. The asking price is $39,000, but there's a few reasons why no one wants to buy. First off, there's only a small cabin on the island. You'll need to build your own house on there. Also, high tide is a big problem for the island. That's because when this happens, water covers half of the island. McGibbon Island, Canada. This island is found on the St. John's River in New Brunswick, Canada. The asking price is a bit over $29,000, but there are many disadvantages to this island. First off, it's undeveloped, but also every spring, floods cover the entire island. This means you can't use it in the spring and also you can't build anything on it. But during other times of year, you can set up a tent on this island. Then again, you could probably get away with doing that without actually buying the island. 
But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which island on this list you would buy if any. If you want some more amazing videos, then take a look at my second channel. But as always, thank you for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.